Coronavirus cases are surging across the United States. The top disease expert, Dr. Fauci, says there could be 100,000 cases a day if the appropriate precautions are taken. So where are we most at risk? Millions of people marched in May and June to protest the death of George Floyd. The good news is you're outside, um, but people are going to be shouting and people are going to be yelling. And they also will pull their masks down to do so. Police officers are, are using tear gas. You know, once it gets in your eyes and in your lungs, you cough and you choke, and you're very likely to take that mask off. And then if you're infected, you're likely to cough and spew out virus. And then, of course, um, in most protests, you really don't physically distance. Rallies are starting to take place as the 2020 presidential election campaign amps up the risks of sharing that infection are higher inside a building. People are shouting and yelling and clapping, um, so they're exposing more virus in the air. Uh, you're also very likely, of course, to be in place with both air conditioning uh, and uh, fans. And of course, that's blowing the air around. And if you're downwind from, from someone who is infectious, you're also likely to get infected. And that's particularly a higher risk if you're not wearing your mask. What about summer holidays and family celebrations? More people have been socializing in restaurants as lockdown measures continue to be lifted. The biggest difference in a, in a rally and uh, a restaurant is the number of people that are in there. The more people, the more risk of having someone who's actually infectious. And you're going into an enclosed space. Your greatest risk is when you have to take off your mask while you're eating. Uh, it's important to think about the fact you're going to touch a lot of surfaces and people are very worried about getting the virus from surfaces that they're touching. Uh, those risks are very low. So if you are out and about, what can you do to stay safe? You wear a mask. Embrace the universal use of face coverings. And wear a mask. Physical distancing and masking serves as a barrier which reduces your risk. It does not eliminate your risk. That risk increases around the more people that you're around. And more importantly, the more people you're around that you don't know and you don't know how well they are.